I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. I can do this. That's the whole point of HelloFresh. Hey guys, I'm that nerd with the hair, and this is an attempt at a HelloFresh recipe. So this is by no means a tutorial or a cooking channel or anything like that. I have basically never cooked in my life except for the past two HelloFresh dinners that they sent me and this is the third one and I decided to record it for you guys because the whole point of HelloFresh, it's similar to Blue Apron, is that they send you all of the ingredients and the exact amount that you need and step-by-step -step instructions and even if you are just learning to cook, you can do it and so I'm gonna show you that you can do it. So the recipe that I'm gonna be trying is actually a level two recipe and that scares the crap out of me. And that is the sticky honey drumsticks. And it sounds delicious, so I'm excited to eat it, but I'm terrified to make it because the last two dishes I made were a level one and one of them I kind of messed up on. <laughs> so step one says to bring one cup of water and a, punch of, a pinch of salt to a boil in a small pot. Uh, fill a medium pot with two inches of water and bring to a simmer. So that's already boiling. And the next step, peel and mince ginger, okay? They always include a, a whole box of all of the uh, fresh produce and all of that good stuff. While the meat they put in a uh, different box, which is in the freezer at the moment. And I am just now realizing I don't know how to peel or mince ginger. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm gonna turn this down. I'm not gonna be using that for a bit. Ah, the floor is fine. Do you know how to peel ginger, Mom? No. Oh, jeez. I have to YouTube that one. YouTube something while making a YouTube video? What? Is this a bottle opener? A bottle opener. I thought that was a peeler. This is a peeler. You peel it using a peeler? Alexa, how do you peel gar... No, that's not the word I needed. Alexa. I wasn't a... How do you peel ginger? Nickelodeon, or just Nick India, broadcast in India and neighboring countries, is an Indian children's television network based in Mumbai. Pretty sure that's not what I asked, but thanks. Now I know that piece of information. Ah, don't chop the fingers off. <laughs> I thought the hard part was going to be the cooking, not the chopping and the peeling and the cutting my fingers off. Keep a grocery bag handy for all your uh, garbage that you don't need. Feel free to put yourself in there too, you know, if you're like me, if you're a piece of garbage. And now we mince, finally. I hope no actual like trained cooks or chefs watch this because they are going to laugh. Actually, I hope Jane doesn't watch this because she knows a lot about cooking food. And she's gonna laugh. <laughs> Don't chop your fingers off, that's lesson one. <laughs> Is that minced enough for you, Mother? It's never good enough. <laughs> no, Mother, why? Now we are going to cut open both of these bags. Let's go ahead and dump them both in there. All right. Cover and reduce to a simmer, which I guess is medium heat. I'm trying to give a thumbs up without burning myself. There we go. Yeah. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. If you didn't get the clue from that, you have to uh, set. It says to keep the rice covered until tender, and it says 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep in mind when you get this Hello Fresh thing that if you've never cooked before. Make some extra time before you typically eat. Maybe a little lower. You know, they say it's easiest to manage a uh, kitchen mess by cleaning it like as you go. The first night, I found that that was true. Second night, not so much. Now, I'm just screw it all. It's also, it passes the time if you make sound effects. That's what a famous chef taught me. And now we are going to mince or grate garlic. And I actually mean garlic this time. I actually mean it. I've had to mince garlic in the past two recipes and it's actually not very hard. 
And because I said that, I'm probably gonna, going to actually cut my finger off. But hey, more YouTube views. you. Chase the garlic. Chase it. Track you down and kill you. Chop you up into tiny pieces. Now I got the meal with the uh, for four people to feed my family. I got a family to feed guys. But they also have an option for just two people and they include the ingredient amounts, the half of what they include for this meal. If you don't want to um, sign up but you want to cook this meal, they have the recipes up. This is kind of therapeutic as long as you pay attention enough. Because what's rule number one? Mom? Don't cut your fingers off. Yep, you got it. Okay, so apparently these are scallions. I swear it just looks like celery, but whatever. So basically it's a tall onion. Trim and thinly slice. Oh man, I see why this was level two. Keeping whites and greens separate? Not there. I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. I can do this. That's the whole point of HelloFresh. We're uh, we're just gonna Google something real quick. What does a spring onion and a yellow onion have in common? What? They're all the same. They're scallions. They come from the scallion family. Okay, so you pull the skin off. Oh no! Rip your flesh off. This is why having a trash bag handy is is handy. Oh, I broke one. Go okay. bad. Will they send me another if mine broke? Okay, so then you want to cut the uh, heads with hair off. You want to cut these off. Then you want to slice them? I did say this wasn't a, uh, wasn't a cooking tutorial. It's more like a, can she do it? <laughs> no, she can't. What do I do with the rice when it's done? I don't know why I'm keeping the whites and greens separate. This isn't laundry, it's cooking. Now we are going to drizzle olive oil into a pan and we're gonna heat it over medium-high heat. Oh, I think I should've thawed the damn chicken. I forgot chicken was a part of this chicken recipe. So I am thawing the chicken for whatever. I don't even know. I don't know. I'm ready to burn the house down, that's what. Never chopping scallions again, I can tell you that. Pat chicken dry with a paper towel and season all over with salt and pepper. Already petted it, now we are going to season. I don't know how much, but like I said, sound effects are important. It's scientifically proven that your meal will come out tastier. <laughs> now add to pan and cook until brown, five to seven minutes. Woo! I hate that. Woo! Oh, uh -huh, that got me. Wow! Woo! Good. That was splattery. Ow. I think it got me in the face. Okay, so I put my uh, hoodie on because I'm a big fat baby, but we are going to, woo hoo hoo okay. We're gonna flip these. Ugh, I feel like I'm fighting a dragon. This is my shield and this is my sword, die! So meanwhile, while that's cooking, this pot has been heating up. Eh. We're gonna add the broccoli. <laughs> and for four people, they included two bags. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sound effects not working. Well, that's funny. That's not covering the broccoli at all. Okay, I'm gonna add some more water in there. All right, that's probably good. Increase heat to high and steam broccoli until tender three to five minutes. Okay, so I think that's probably good. Whoa, the... Don't know what's happening to the broccoli. It's got rabies. Just occasionally stirring it. It stopped foaming. Thank you, broccoli, for not killing me. Now we're gonna check on the chicken again. Stand back! Oh. Oh. I'm filming, hence why I'm acting like a maniac. Cooking is more interesting to watch when you're watching a maniac. Yeah, you She acts like a maniac even when she's not cooking. Yeah. Okay, so the timer for the broccoli just went off, so we are gonna cover it with a lid. We're going to drain this. You don't need to see a video of me draining it. We all know how to drain broccoli. When you make the sauce, you are going to have two bottles, for me, of balsamic vinegar. Aren't they so cute? Look at those. Look at those cute baby bottles. Dang, look at all these soy sauce packets. You're also gonna have this soy sauce. So the reason I'm setting this aside is because we're gonna make the sauce in the pan. You're gonna add the vinegar. Ah. Woo! It did not warn me of that. 
Whoa, okay, let's try this. <laughs> All right, so we got that. That's one bottle, bottle number two. And you're gonna do the soy sauce packets. So just one at a time, pour the soy sauce. Might have gotten a little bit of plastic in there. Yeah, there we go. Now, as the directions say, scrape up any brown bits stuck to the bottom. So we're gonna put this on for safe measure. Next step is to stir in one cup of water and honey, with these two little jars, aren't they so cute? All right, but honey doesn't just go in there, it kind of oozes. That actually worked pretty well. And that's just one jar, so we're gonna put the other jar in there. Next, you wanna add the garlic. And the ginger. And the scallion. Okay, the scallion whites, that's why we separated them. Apparently they taste different. And these scallions have a little bit of pepper on them, but you know what, that's gonna add a little bit of taste. And also sriracha, I don't know if that's how you say that. And it says to add it to taste, but the problem is I have no idea how much that is. I'm gonna taste it. I've never tasted it. Was that a mistake? Is this gonna be really hot? It's getting pretty hot. Okay, that's got a kick to it. I'm just doing the one packet then. Uh, bring to a boil. We're gonna put it on high again. So now that the pot is boiling, we are going to add the chicken back to the sauce. Okay. Ah! I'm good. Then we're gonna reduce to a simmer and cook it for about 15 minutes. Alexa, snap! <laughs> <laughs> you know what the worst thing about that is? What? You were just out of the camera's range, so oh. I just looked like a crazy person just going <laughs> <laughs> So we are gonna come back in 15 minutes, but don't forget to flip the chicken halfway through. Turn the stove off. We're just gonna flip the chicken around to get it all glazed and smothered. Try to tell me you don't want a bite of that chicken. And you're just gonna garnish with the uh, scallion greens. It says to do it per plate. I don't know if anyone else is gonna do that. Maybe I will add it to the chicken and a little to the rice. The broccoli's got enough green in it. And you got your garnished rice and your garnished chicken and your not garnished broccoli. And you got your sticky honey drumsticks here. Success! Ooh, you can taste the sriracha. All right, so I think that was a success, even if it was a disaster throughout the whole entire thing. I think the d actual dinner, excuse you, trying to feed the dogs like they need to eat. That is it for this video of Can She Cook? Yes, <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys how easy HelloFresh is. I swear level one meals are much easier than this one was, but even so, this one turned out great despite it being confusing at some points um, but you can you pick your own meals so if you don't want to do level two or level three it tells you what level it is just pick all level ones I knew what I was getting myself into I just wanted those damn sticky honey drumsticks so anyway thanks for watching I will put a referral link down in the description below if you guys want to check out hellofresh.com I highly recommend you trying at least a week and with my referral link you get $40 off your first box so remember to like, comment, and boop that subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. I don't want to do any more of these cooking videos. I can't cook. Don't make me cook anymore. And until next time, have fun, guys. Oh my god, it's amazing. What's the number for the fire department? A knight cannot go into battle without proper armor. 991? I don't think phone numbers are three digits, Mom. They haven't been three digits since phones were invented. <laughs>